Hey guys, I wanted to do kind of an introductory video um, to another video I'm going to have on here after this. Um, as y'all know, I'm a dealer for Spinolution, so I have a, a King Bee, which I love, and my um, a Polywog with the accelerator and 12 ounce upgrade. That, you know, I switch back and forth between all those. But also at our, our guild here in Knoxville, we have um, an Echo and a Firefly that are there. So, you know, we've got several Spinolution wheels. So I had noticed with my King Bee that I hadn't noticed with any of the other ones. Even like uh said the Echo at the guild had like a 16-ounce bobbin. And then I've got the 12-ounce bobbin on the Polywog. So even on the bigger bobbins, I wasn't noticing this. But on my 8-ounce uh, King Bee... I was noticing, um, and you hear my kids in the background, so, you know, that's my life. But, shh, you two be quiet. So, on the King Bee, there would be, it was like two out of three of the bobbins, one worse than the other, would make this horrible, like, click, 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 like, rattly noise. And I could kind of ignore it if I was by myself watching, you know, reruns of Grey's Anatomy or whatever, like... It didn't drive, most of the time it didn't drive me too crazy, but I felt bad of like anybody else, like my husband or anybody else was with us when we were trying to hang out and talk and watch TV, and it would be the clicky bobbin would get on there, and it would click, 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 and it would just, it, it drove me crazy. I've got another video on here where like one of them I was kind of able to fit, basically long story short, the cause of a rattly bobbin on Spinolution is if the magnet that's on the back on the the head the flyer is not making a good connection with the uh the inside of the bobbin and i mean obviously you're dealing with wood and metal and magnets so you know some of them you know are just going to line up better than others or magnets will be stronger than others you know and that's not that's not the company's fault that's not anybody's fault not your fault my fault just kind of, you know, things are going to shake out a little bit different. My uh, bee had been injured. It wasn't working right in a certain area. So it actually had gone back to the shop. And uh, I'd gotten, when they sent it back, I got it, they sent me some new bobbins. Because, um, like I said, it was a totally different story. So anyhow, long story short, I had tried six different bobbins on my King Bee. And I felt like that, uh, God, really like... I hate to say two out of three of each of the sets, there were different varying degrees of the rattle. And so I started suspecting that it was not so much the bobbin, but the magnet was somehow not making a great connection for whatever reason. Because what was weird, and what is still weird, is out of the, the bobbins, there would always there would be a couple that were like perfect. And they would, and like, I inspected them, I looked at the back, I could not tell what in the world the difference was between the good bobbin and the bad bobbin. But, um, like I said, I made another video on this where I tried to kind of, like, sharpen the edges and clean the grooves, and, and that did help some, but not totally, and not on the new bobbins. So that's why I started suspecting the magnet, for whatever reason, was just not on all of them making a good connection, because the ones that it made a good connection were, like, silent, there was no problem. So that brought me to uh, being stubborn and thinking outside of the box and coming up with a solution I came up with, which I'm super happy with. So that, I had a video of the bob, the same bobbin making the rattly noise, and it has apparently gotten deleted. So um, the video you hear referenced in the, the second part of this where I'm like, this is the same bobbin. Like, I'm sorry, I don't have the video with it rattling um, anymore. It got deleted. But trust me, if you have a Spinolution wheel with a rattly bobbin, you know what I'm talking about. So you, you don't need to see the video. So anyhow, without further ado, this is how I fixed it. Same disclaimer as my other video. This was totally my brainstorming on my wheel, and it's not. This solution is not endorsed by Spinolution. <laughs> so you know, I am a dealer. Like this is not. Uh, you know, if you do this and somehow your whole wheel falls apart and you're really mad, like you can't be mad at Spinolution. This was not them. And please don't be mad at me either. This is just me trying to uh, hopefully help somebody that might be having a similar problem that's driving them nuts. <laughs> So this is just me trying to be helpful, so please don't get mad at me or spin Lucian. So that's my uh, disclaimer. So here you go. Hey everybody, I think I have fixed the clicky bobbin. This is the same bobbin from the last video. As you see, it's much quieter. So what I did was... Let me take this off so I can show you. I'm sorry, I have one hand. I uh, 
figured that for whatever reason that some of the bobbins were fitting a lot tighter than the others. Like I said, I've been through six bobbins at this point in time since my wheel went back to get repaired and got some new bobbins. And I, it was like two out of three of them were at least would be like clicky and then one would be randomly quiet and awesome. And it just, from talking to Ashley, it seemed like that that meant, she said that that was from where the bobbin, like the clicky noise was from where it was like rattling when it was spinning. So the only thing I could figure to do was to make the magnet like a little grippier. So what I did was I put just a tiny little bit of, and I was looking for rubber cement, I didn't have it. I put a little bit of caulk. It's just because I figured like worst case scenario, it's water soluble, you know, like I can get it off. And uh, put just a little tiny bit on like a little sponge thing. And I didn't put it on the the this part. I just put a little bit, and you can see where it's dried, around the magnet and then let it dry. So I did that like right before I walked out of the house. And then when I got back, it was dry. And like I said, there's nothing on this part. There's just a little bit, like I said, I just wanted to make it kind of like rougher so that the bobbin wouldn't be like slipping and rattling. And it worked like a charm. I imagine I'm going to have to probably reapply it at some point in time. But, you know, obviously I let it dry all the way because I wasn't looking to, like, glue my bobbin in there. But, um, and it's still, you know, like they always are where, you know, there's kind of, you can feel it where it'll fit better, kind of, there you go. In one spot, you know, like you might kind of have to, like, turn it to get it locked in there right. But that really, I've tried on all three bobbins since then, and we've had family in town for Thanksgiving. So I've been spinning on my wheel for like three days now since I've done this, and all three bobbins have been fine. So I'm super, super happy about this. I can now spin uh, on all my bobbins without anybody giving me dirty looks uh, about the noise. So that's what I did, and like I said, I imagine I'll probably have to reapply eventually, but... um. You know, I mean, most wheels you have to oil occasionally, so if I have to, like, re my magnet, <laughs> I'm okay with that. So, anyhow, hope that helps anybody else, because, yeah, I totally feel your pain. The uh, Radley noise was absolutely driving me nuts, and especially since so many people talked about their wheels just being so silent, and then mine, it was like, no matter what I did, I just felt like two out of three bobbins was always just, like, rattle, 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 no matter what I did. So, I'm super happy with this, and uh, I hope that helps.